All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link, and don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish. Uh, we just heard the news about an attack happened in Netherlands where the number of how many <clears throat> people get killed, we don't know. Some in the USA is four, some say five, some they say three. Uh, a few days ago, we heard the news about the attack in New Zealand. And this is a very kind of rear attack. But the fact which nobody want to say that Islamic attack, which is based on the supremacist of Islam, that Muslims are supreme and anyone else must die. Nobody want to talk about it. Even that terrorist who is a criminal and we condone, you know, we, 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 we refuse and we reject his act. Even that he himself, he did do what he do as what he claimed to be respond to for a long chain of attacks. Why the world do not see and don't recognize that the problem is Islam? Why this guy who they call him Supreme Why did not attack the Hindus? Why he did not attack the Buddhas? Why he did not attack, he is white, okay, and they are not white. Why he did not attack a, a, a group of uh, black people? We have to go and see the roots of the problem. Every day, Islamic supremacists are attacking Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas, everywhere in the world. Name for me one territory. And this supremacist cult is not kidding in the name of their God. And yet, when one person he do a crime, then they label everybody that he is like them. And they say he's a Christian, when the fact the guy, he said clearly he is not a Christian. Always and please from now on, let us call Islam by its name. Islam is a supremacist cult. And if you don't believe me, this is the words of their prophets and this is their books. You are the best of the people ever raised for the benefit of mankind. By the way, in the Quran doesn't say benefit. So you are the best of people between mankind. What does that mean? The best for mankind are those who bring them with the chains round their necks till they embrace Islam. Is that a supremacist religion? Or this is not. If this is not fascism, if this is not supremacist, if this is not Nazi, what is this? The reason they are attacking because they believe that what the Quran said is it true that you are any clean and you are najis, you are filthy, dirty. This is why the Muslims they have in their Quran chapters and verses saying that non-Muslims are filthy and they are not allowed to enter even certain cities because you are equal to pigs. As you see, this is a chapter 9, verse number 28, 28 in the Quran. Wa najis. Here they were they use in the translation the word any clean, but the fact it's not any clean. And clean, it uh, can be somebody dirty with something. You are unclean as a person, not as your skin. Or as your uh, because you took you did not take a shower, so we are any clean to the point they have a sign everywhere in Saudi Arabia saying Muslims only, which mean they speak about South Africa how the white people they use to discriminate the black people which is very ugly, and but yet until now with no shame, everywhere in Saudi Arabia they have a sign says Muslim only. <clears throat> That is the culture of Islam, and this is the teaching of Islam. This is not something new, but nobody want to talk about it. You have an embassy in Saudi Arabia. You shake hands and you build mosque, but you don't ask them why you believe in Muslims only roads. What about somebody making roads for Christians only, and Muslims only, and Hindus only, and atheists only in New York? Why they can't do it and why they can't get away with it.
why nobody question it why nobody talk about it why when they kill nobody see that this is Islamic supremacist and why when somebody killed they say this is supremacist when Boko Haram kidnapped thousands of Christian girls in Nigeria in Mali when Al-Qaeda and Isis when the Mujahideen in Syria who they are neither Al-Qaeda neither Isis and they are supposedly moderate Muslims burn the churches kill the Christians and rape them all of this nobody th speak about and nobody condemn it because it became a normal news like rain it's like a weather news you open your TV and you see an Islamic supremacist attacking and killing so why you want to condemn something it became usual please from now on when we speak about Muslim terrorist attack let us use the correct definition this is yes Muslim attack but this is supremacist attack because this cult believe that they are superior and everyone else must die and if you don't believe me this is your God and this is your prophet teaching and this is the words written in your holy books All the world is dirty for them and they are the best of mankind and they have a duty to oppress you to sub, to be superior on you to humiliate you until you embrace Islam and terror was just a way it is just a tool it's not even the target by the way Muhammad he said I've been victorious from a distance of a month of terror which mean people they were terrified by hearing his name from a distance of a month because he is the biggest supremacist terrorist known in earth Hitler is not a match the fascists are not a match read with me carefully the Prophet said I have been given five things which we are not given to anyone. He is a superior in everything. Even what he's given is superior. No one have what I have. I am a superior man. I am a pat man of terror. I am a superman of terror. Allah made me victorious by terror. From a distance. Of one month journey this is what make Muhammad and Islam superior he is a terrorist with no competition and because I am superior and I was given the right to slaughter all mankind you either convert to my cult or I will kill you Muhammad he said in different place another proof of superior uh, 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 supremacy uh, uh, cult belief saying the following I've been ordered to kill all mankind the Muslim they say to fight yes to fight but in Arabic it says uqatil, which means fight to kill I have been commanded to fight and kill all mankind until everybody says there is no God but Allah and there is no prophet but Muhammad and they have to pay me the money as a blood protection as you see in the front of you that is the truth about Islam so do me a favor from now on please let us put the word which we did not use for a long time supremacist Islam is a supremacist cult believe that everyone else is garbage everyone else is a stupid everyone else is filthy everyone else is not even a human even the quran says that non-muslims are not human and this is why we hear the muslim says the children of the pigs and the monkeys calling us muhammad not only a terrorist in all mean Muhammad is a professional terrorist.
to the point Muhammad he said it clearly if I am victorious I will do genocide and he did and he kicked out all the Christians and all the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula this is a land was full of non-muslims actually there was no Muslims at all and Muhammad he killed everybody there and if you don't believe me the reference in the front of your eyes and this is exactly what the target of Islam is to be supremacist and to genocide and to expel the one who could not kill or at least make them run away so they take over your land why people don't want to see why people they cannot read why people they go blind the second we speak about Islam and why the whole world go crazy when a crazy criminal kill Muslims but nobody count how many millions killed in the name of Allah or in the name of the supremacist cult of Islam why it is normal for a Christian to lose their life in a Christmas market every Christmas market for the last 10 years how many Christian get killed even in Europe just last month more than 500 people in Nigeria burned and nobody speak about them when you are poor you die when you are not people speak about you the truth is disgusting and the silence is death and this is the whole point you say the truth they accuse you of a hate monger teaching but the fact is as you see it in the front of you if you type right now in Google how many attack happened in the name of Allah just last month you will be amazed how many attack happened in the name of a Christ last month you will find zero because even this guy who they try to label him as a Christian they are lying go and read the nine, 29 papers he made liars nowhere he said that he is a Christian Killing, attacking, oppressing. We cannot build the churches in their countries. Until now, in Saudi Arabia, we have zero church. The Muslims, they can build a mosque in every corner in the West. They are not oppressed. Why they are killing? The Christian who they are oppressed are not killing, and the one who is not oppressed, actually, they are spoiling them. Just today, Two Israeli got killed in the early morning by a supremacist Muslim who was screaming Allahu Akbar. So how many be the total at the end of the day, just in one day, killed by supremacist Islamic terrorist? But I am not surprised that they are doing that, for I understand their cult very well. What I am surprised is why the Western they go blind when they do what they do and they don't when somebody else do something why when a supremacist Muslim attack and kill they say oh this guy he have a mental issue look like all of them they have mental issues look like everybody in Isis have mental issue look like and the funny they say to us there is only 10% of Muslims they believe in joining jihad and do terrorism that's mean there's a 150 million Muslim are ready to kill and yet you say to us Islam is a peace let me tell you something those who say Islam is peace you are a piece of shit and this is the truth please download this video and share it to everyone everywhere and again we don't want violence we don't want anyone to be killed. We want Christians, Muslims, Hindus, and Buddhists to live in peace. We don't want anyone to hurt Muslims. But in the same time, please, you Muslims, stop killing Christians and Jews and Hindus and Buddhas. Please, if you want to live in peace, seek peace. But don't forget, the Quran says it clearly, seek not peace when you are the uppermost. The Quran forbid the Muslims from seeking peace but they can only see seek peace if they are weak which means temporarily 
you have to change your mentality and you have to think about your future if you really care for living in peace then seek peace so people will love you and you can live with them in peace my friend a book says take not Christians and Jews as a friends chapter 5 verse number 51 it cannot be your guidance for peace Muslims believe that Allah created them to be the uppermost for so they are supremacist and they are victorious by terror as you see I'm not making things up this is their book this is their religion this is their cult seek not peace cry not for peace when you are the uppermost it is against Islamic cult to be a peaceful person and they lie to us and they say Islam peace when the fact Islam is the opposite from the word salam which means peace Islam mean you surrender salam mean peace not Islam but they fool you because you don't speak Arabic what kind of religion says take not the Christians and Jews as a friend why you cannot take me as a friend I will tell you why because Islam is a supremacist cult want to spread hate and killing in chapter 5 verse 14 Allah says I will spread hate and enmity between the Christians he hate the Christian to death how you say let us ban hate yet you don't ban the Quran how you say let us be living in peace but you publish the Quran in every corner in the West and in the world this is the Quran and this is the teaching of the Quran and this is not my words read it carefully take not Christians and Jews as a friends for they are friends to each other why they cannot take you as a friend because you are a filthy pig because you are nudges because you are dirty and this is against Islam a Muslim he is not allowed to lower himself to be an enemy to Allah in order to be a friend to you this is why the verse says and those who take them as a friend he is one of them which mean he is a filthy pig this is a supremacist cult disgusting belief all of us we should stand against it because this earth is going to go into chaos because of this supremacist false belief which make people believe that they are above other human being kind just because they are from different religion that is the truth my friend and stop hiding the truth and from now on let us always use the word islamic supremacist for this is how it is thank you very much download the video share it everywhere and see you soon again christ is lord and islam is false and we are here to expose it download it as soon as you can please take care bye, -bye.